All right. Good morning, good afternoon. Today I'd like to talk about a very, very important concept in uh, DSP, particularly with high bandwidth uh, receivers, and that is the polyphase channelizer. In particular, I'd like to talk about um, how we implement that in GNU radio. But before I just dive into what it is or how you use it, I always like to start off with a problem. So let's, this picture you're looking at here is the uh, spectrum of the incoming signal from our SDR radio. And it's already been down converted to DC um, using our digital down converter. If you don't know what a digital down converter is, go see my video where I talk about that. So our problem today is we have, what, five AM radio signals here. And how do we decode or listen to them all at the same time? So that is our goal. And we will show how we can use the polyphase channelizer to do that for us. So just for technical, as you can see at the bottom here, but the IQ data rate is 96 kilohertz. Right, so that basically means our spectrum is uh, negative 48 kilohertz to positive 48 kilohertz. And we have five different AM signals here, one at DC, one at 16 kilohertz, one at 32, another at negative 32, and another at negative 16 kilohertz. So five AM signals being received all at the same time. How do we listen to them? all at once. Well, first let's take the classical method of how we would tune in to one station. So let's say we want to tune in to the AM radio signal that's at a 16 kilohertz offset from DC. Again, the signal coming in from our SDR has a sample rate of 96 kilohertz. And uh, you see it's picking up five AM signals there. And we want to pick up the guy that's at 16 kilohertz. Now in your software defined radio software, you just click that and it tunes it in. But what really is going on? And this is one classical way of how they did that. Essentially, we took the whole uh, IQ data, we multiplied it, and we multiplied it by a negative uh, 16 kilohertz phaser, right? Such that that signal at 16 kilohertz has now been shifted down to DC. We'll low pass filter it, probably put a cutoff frequency of five kilohertz since the um, typically the AM bandwidth is 10 kilohertz wide. And then often after that, they will do some down sample to get it to a much lower rate and then send it off to the AM demodulator uh, DSP section. So this is the classical method of how you would tune in a station, All right? And if you wanted to tune in the station at 32 kilohertz, you would change it from a negative 16 kilohertz phaser to a uh, negative 32 kilohertz phaser and that will shift that signal down to DC. So basically, it's repeating the, the old school radio idea that we change the frequency of that uh, complex exponential to tune in uh, whatever signal we want. Today, I'd like to talk about what something is called the polyphase channelizer, which is a more uh, modern DSP approach to do this tuning for us and much, much more efficient, but more about that later. So, that was how I tuned in one AM station. Well, what if I wanted to tune in all five at the same time? Well, classically, I would have to bridge something like this. X of N is the incoming data, and I'd have basically five mixers there, all with discrete offsets. I'd have five low-pass filters, five decimations, and then five AM demodulator blocks. Um, this method is slow and very CPU intensive. So is there another way 
to do the same thing in the DSP realm? The answer is yes, of course, and that is the polyphase channelizer. And this is really quite the de facto standard now in any kind of modern receiver systems, particularly those with very high-end sample rates, and you need to break them down into bands to do processing on. So that is the buzzword. You want to go ahead and Google that to get all the details. But for now, and main purpose of this video is to just show us how we can use it. All right, so this is how we're going to have proposed the proposed idea. The IQ stream is coming in. Again, I said it's at uh, 96 kilohertz. It's totally arbitrary. And we're going to set the channelizer to have six filter banks. And uh, what happens is then there's be the output of each of those banks will have a bandwidth of 16 kilohertz. It will also have a sample rate of 16 kilohertz. And all of those banks will be centered around DC. So this polyphase channelizer has filtered the signal of interest, shifted it to zero hertz, and already decimated it for us by six. So that's, that's a pretty nice feature all going on in that one block in GNU radio. Now you might say all those banks, how does that map back to the original spectrum? And that's what this is. So bank zero is whatever signal is at true DC coming in. Bank one is the signal that's at 16 kilohertz. Bank two is the signal at 32 kilohertz. Bank three is typically like a guard band. It's going to be uh, half of 16 kilohertz wide. I would recommend not using that. So band three, we typically skip. And then band four is minus 32 kilohertz. Band five is 16, negative 16 kilohertz. So that is how the six filter banks are mapping that incoming signal. And I find that was hardly documented or very poorly documented. So this is my attempt to uh, show you guys that. And that's, that's how the banks uh, break out. Now you can set the number of banks to whatever you want. I chose six, you could make it 16, you could make it two, three. So typically it's best to stick with um, even numbers so that the breakout looks something like this. So if you have some um, signals that you need to break down into banks, I would recommend in your next project to use the polyphase channelizer and just to show you um, in the settings all i did is change that to number of channels to six everything else i kept as is and it already computes the filters the weights i just have to basically tell it the number of channels and the GNU radio block does the rest so here is uh, the proposed idea I bringing the wave file in, converting it to complex. You can change that wave file to be a true SDR radio. I'm just working with a recorded file, but the idea is the same. It's coming into the polyphase channelizer, and here you sh I'm showing the five AM demodulators so we can listen to those five AM radio stations. And you can see that. Uh, filter bank so you got zero one two three filter bank three is the the one that was on the edge so that's why we sent him to a null sink because i don't really plan on using it but that that's in a nutshell folks how you could use the polyphase channelizer to tune multiple radio signals and decode them at the same time Hopefully you learned something. And for those of you that would like to see what's under the hood of the polyphase channelizer, uh, here you go. Again, I'm not going to get into this. Plenty of math sites show all this, but very few math sites showed actually how to use it. So hopefully my video showed that.